What is going on, Lunatic Fringe? Guys, uh, while you were sleeping the last couple of days, I want to say, uh, a new proposal has been implemented that might just be a game changer in the long term for Luna Classic to bring back the vibrance and the utility that we've been looking for in this, and it involves a burn. It's not what you think it is. Uh, it's not a repeg, but it is something different that we haven't seen. And this might be the moment where things change dramatically. Now, if you like this type of content, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button, and the bell to be notified of future content. Let's kick it off and let's talk about it. So a couple days ago, Genuine Labs put out tax to gas implementation on Commonwealth. I encouraged you a couple of days ago to go read this and kind of get a feel for what it is. Now, the proposal overview says, since late 2022, Terra Classic has been employing burn tax, which is in which is inherit the idea uh, from stability tax only serve USTC. It is noticeable that there have been several issues related, such as contract developers need to calculate the tax manually and adjust the amount of it. They don't like this. Clients or dApps have to calculate the tax themselves as the simulation endpoint only provides gas estimates and migrating audited dApps becomes cumbersome due to these classic uh, specific adjustments leading to potential pre-audit, re-audit. So now what you're saying is the people that are going to bring dApps over through some kind of Cosmos bridge or uh, the parody from the Cosmos SDK, they can't because of the tax. So there's a different method that's being recognized here. And that is recognizing these risks. The proposal 11873 promotes tax to gas, which aims to handle the misconception and to tackle the current problem related to burn tax. We, Genuine Labs, propose to implement the tax to gas approach on Terra Classic and help prevent as much attack vector as possible using E2E tests. It's end-to-end -end testing. Um, the scheme compromises three essential phases, phases uh, research, then development, and then test and deploy. So you're looking at about a five, uh, four, five week project, uh, three members, uh, expert Dicer, and men and Dong are part of this. And the overall budget is 25,000. This will be paid in the form of Lunk when we submit for a CP spend proposal. This is a signaling proposal asking for permission to work on the proposed scope of work. Only when all tasks above are finished will we submit a CP spend proposal. Now, uh, as you uh, might guess, there's no proposal up yet. There's nothing that's gone for governance. So this is just an idea here. And except for Strathcole, uh, everybody else has pretty much said yes to this. Did you have a look at the potential difficulties inside of effects that I experienced while doing the initial concept idea and POC. I'm not sure if your development plan could stand because this will probably not be an easy task, which contains several hurdles and complexities, which might even need community discussion. So there's going to be some testing on this just to, to see whether or not this is correct or not in this potential new method. However, there's some opportunity for this coming. And uh, this is covered in CoinGape today. And the conversation, uh, the conversation basically, uh, this is a great opportunity. Uh, this will incorporate the tax into the gas and remove the need for separate handling and calculation. The proposal aims to increase the on-chain tax rate to 1.5 cents, but it's going to come from the gas, which brings back the original 1.2 burn tax with 0.3 to fund the chain by the current on-chain 80-20 tax split. And it doesn't have anything to do with any sort of manual process that might be initiated. So this could be a game. You got nine days before the contest is over, Cryptonomy.finance is giving away 100,000 USD worth of Pepe. Not only that, we've got a mobile app coming very, very soon. Uh, we're also launching a public partnership with a strong team. Uh, it's going to result in one of the best exchanges on the market. Also, you're going to get some unique marketing information from Cryptonomy if you sign up today, and you'll get some trading opportunities for free. Cryptonomy.finance giving away $100,000 worth of USD Pepe. This is going to take you through a 100 billion. I think Pepe is going to be the first 100 billion uh, crypto in meme coins. So don't miss out on this opportunity. Sign up today. Helps me out tremendously. Cryptonomy.finance. Don't forget it. Changer. Okay. Now, remember, this was something, again, you're, you're even noting this, that this was proposed by Strathcole uh, and, and Genuine Lab. So this is going to go through a process, but if it works and if it succeeds, this could be a game changer, not in that it's creating a, a, a new bridge of, of any sort, but in that 
it changes the functionality and the way things are calculated by changing and simplifying the process, then what you do is you encourage more dApps to build on this network. Right now, that manual tax is prohibitive. But what you guys want, you want burns. So this is a process by which things are burned. We want to continue to, to, to give you burns. So we just have to come up with a new way to do it in order to encourage development and building in the ecosystem. Because at the end of the day, it doesn't matter how much you burn if nobody's building. If nobody's building, then you have no ecosystem. So we're trying to create a thriving ecosystem. And this goes a long way towards doing that. Over on... Uh, the meme coin sphere, uh, a little bit of a, of a uh, mixed bag. Most everything, if you see up here, all in green for the day. Terra up 9% on the day. Uh, TKMN up 166%. Pizza B up 12.5%. Had some people reaching out to me about Pizza B um, uh, and, uh, and having a nice little run right now. Uh, Luna Class Course 1%. LNC up 3% and Roddy up 27% on the day with the big gainer being Terra and Rackoff, you know Jed, you know who he you know who he is. Anyway, uh, let's move on. Uh, station, the governance is still the message community pool spend and you can see how everybody's voting. Everybody of course is voting yes on this one. Uh, it seems like the, the the simplest of things at this point. About to hit governance, nobody's voted no on this one at all. So, price action. Price action doing exactly what we said it was going to do. Now, I've kind of eliminated some of the circles in the drawings. I want to simplify this a little bit for you uh, in the short term, but you can see right here, we're honoring and respecting this little range right here. We've we've kind of wicked up here into 12.1, uh, three zeros, 12, one. With rejection, now uh, I, I would anticipate uh, it, a little bit more of a robust pump on this, but if I move this down just a little bit, you can see here, it's kind of touching all of these wicks right here. So I think we're in a good spot. It's just kind of testing a, a specific sort of area, but this is in line for a breakout. And you know, as you zoom in and look at it, I mean, you really see that every time we touch this area, we're respecting it and we're getting a bounce off of it. We're looking to get another bounce here right now. now the thing is, if this continues on, this is again a parabolic sort of move. This is a, an enormous sort of uptrend. People are starting to get excited. You can see that in the investment and the speculative aspect of this trading right now. So that to me means that that blow off is getting ready to happen. And that's what we're looking for, right? We're looking for that blow off move that gets us up into this range right here. And this is not the end of the journey. This is just the next step in the, the pump, if you will. So when you get into this range right here, that will be an accomplishment. And then we'll zoom out just a little bit. And then you can start to see what I told you guys. I'm going to move to the day chart right now. Uh, and then you can see that this is part of that broader trend. What I'm looking for is I'm looking for this sort of robust move here. And then bang, we're going to get that crazy move. I'm looking for this sort of robust move here, right there. And then bang, we get that big move. So that big move, in my opinion, is coming right now just based on the structure and the way this chart is lining up. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Make sure that you hit the like button, by the way. Helps me out tremendously. Now, uh, price action overall, still down in volume. The volume has to, to fix. But here's the thing. If the volume doesn't fix, then we need uh, a new mechanism by which we can attract new people coming into the ecosystem. So this is where that tax to gas comes into play, where this volume of trading, if we move that away from buying it just a little bit and get it onto our chain specifically, then this is potentially... Uh, a game changer. We'll, we'll see whether or not it is, but it looks promising at this point. Now, uh, USD, USTC uh, volume is down as well. I hope you guys liked yesterday when we talked about the history and, and what had happened. Uh, didn't get a lot of traction with it. If you haven't already, I, I encourage you to go check it out. However, uh, this right now, we're, we're starting to see a little bit of movement on USTC up one and a half percent on the day. Again, I don't have a reason to think that it's going to pump for any reason. There, there's nothing out there that's going to give me an indication that there's a pump because, you know, it's the, the, it's the question of circulating supply. However, once we start to implement some of these new processes, then we could see some kind of dramatic liftoff. So 
Uh, potential excitement here. So, uh, burn tracker, two billion being burned overall. So now let's talk about the new project of the day, and it's an old project. It's the Elbun project, but there's something very specific about Project.tech that you haven't seen before that is available for you, and that is, uh, although Elbun Project has its own validator, this is a team game, and we wouldn't accomplish much without our community working with us. From Elbun Project, we wish success to those who support us because we are stronger together. For this reason, we urge the entire community to consider allocating a portion of your delegation to our friends when making your staking decision. Would you like to be a friend validator of the Elbun project? These are the conditions to be able to enter this program. We provide you with a referral code to get your code. Uh, simply access this link and then all base purchases made through that code will automatically grant you a 5% cash back in lunk to your address. Now, uh, if you remember, I staked my base over here with Elbun in the last video that we did about that. But here's uh, here's the, the, the information. For validators who opt for the friend validator program, uh, the validator must commit to use a minimum of 25% of their validation commission to purchase base. Base purchases can be daily, weekly, or monthly, but must have a regular recurrence. The commitment to acquire a minimum of base is a verbal and informal agreement and helps us to ensure that there is a degree of reciprocity and roots between both parties. We are flexible with this condition, but in the case of stopping acquiring base for a prolonged period of time to make purchase much lower than the established 25% without any type of communication to us clarifying the reason, we'll be forced to remove that validator from the friend validator program. Number three, you'll be considered a friend validator and your logo, your referral link, and your validator information will be included in our wallet, thus becoming one of our reference validators on our website and community. I'm sorry, did we just say wallet? Yes, we did. And number five, you can make posts on our Telegram group about your base purchases and your validator information as a way to gain more visibility. And this is a way of supporting those who support us as well as a relationship of friendship and collaboration, meaning that if we can be of help to you, we will be all ears. Now here's the base price. You see it just continues to soar. Remember, we we did this a while back uh, and it, we're continuing to have uh, an enormous sort of pump here for this base ecosystem. So if you haven't already, I would encourage you to come to the Elbun project.tech and check this thing out. Uh, again, this is a, a, a tremendous opportunity for some of you to produce some additional yield uh, and to experience part of this ecosystem at work. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And remember, this is not financial advice. I'm always right. Check out elbunproject.tech today. And uh, that's it. Uh, Luna Classic, uh, we're almost ready to soar. It's right there. So uh, we'll talk to you again very, very soon.